In this video, you will learn to access all your files without cPanel login details or FTP details, but within the WordPress only with an easy and handy plugin. All you need will be a WordPress login details. Let's get started. Okay, now first let's go to your browser. We're using Chrome here. Now let's go to the website wp-admin to your dashboard. Enter your username and password. Let me copy this and paste it. Login. Okay. Then go to plugins and add new. So search for WP file manager or just file manager. Uh, then you can see file manager. Install it. Yeah, just click on install now and it auto installs. And as soon as the installation is completed, activate it. So you will then be moved to uh, this and you can see WP file manager in the left hand side. So click on WP file manager. So you'll be taken to this screen and there will be a welcoming message. You can register if you want to verify it. But for now, I'll simply skip it. So you can see all the files are here. You can also close that if you want to. Anyways, so all the files for your website is here. There's even the hidden files dot well known or any other hidden files. There's WP admin, there's WP content. If you open WP content, you can see plugin, themes, upgrades, uploads, or whatever media files you have uploaded. You know, you can back it up, you can GIF file it, and you can save it everything. You can also, you know, view the files. Let's, for instance, uh, let's check our WP config if you really want to check sometimes. Like if you want to find out the database username and password so you can preview it and you can simply check it So, you know, you can also edit in here. So you can all you have to do is right click and code editor go to code editor and Make any changes and save it. You can also zip file and you know save it right click on it and go to create archive and zip file and press enter so you can rename it or whatever you feel like. So as the zip completes, you can simply right click and download it just like that and save it to your PC, hard disk, wherever you want to as a backup. So you can do a lot of things like you can check error logs or whatever, whatever you want, you know. So you can go to WP content and, you know, check themes. Like if you want to update themes or you want to post new theme. Let me try update one uh, file. I don't have a theme, so I'll just upload the WP content file. Okay, I'll just simply, it's simple. Simply drop, drag and drop. Simple as that. You know, the files get uploaded just as in using a FTP or, you know, cPanel file manager. So it's done. So you can simply right click on it and extract the file here yes you can rename the files you can do anything yeah I think it's done so I'll simply delete it for now so you can simply delete the files as well but just be careful while deleting the files you know there won't be any trash it will be permanently deleted so just be careful on that hope this was a good lesson for you thank you very much